So we're finally going to install the water pump, but before I do that, I wanted to paint it. When I got it in the box, it came in as a raw casting. And you know as well as I do that given enough time, it was going to rust and really take away from the appearance of the engine bay. So I decided to paint it black so it would match everything else in, in the engine bay. So take a look and I'll show you how I did it. So let's get started replacing that water pump. Now the first thing I have to do is to pull off that old gasket. And I'm gonna do that using a, a, just, just a putty knife. Now I wanna get it off, but I wanna be careful that I'm not gouging that, that face at all. I wanna make sure that I get a good seal when I'm done. And I'm also trying not to get any kind of material, if I can, out down inside that water jacket. This has definitely been on there for a while. All right, so that came off pretty nicely. Got a little bit of stuff on this. I don't know if that's, uh, looks like they put some kind of a, looks like they put some kind of a silicon gasket on there as well. Uh, I'm gonna scrape all that off and sand it down. <clears throat> talked to a buddy of mine that, that has his own YouTube channel, uh, Auto Resto Mod, and I asked him whether I should put any additional um, silicone sealer on it, and he suggested that if the, if the face is in good shape, just to use the, the gasket that comes with the, with the water pump. And right now, it's not looking too bad. So I want to go get a nice flat sanding block so that I can sand that surface uh, without buggering it up. So what I'm using is a piece of 100 grit sandpaper. Now it's aggressive enough that to remove the scale and to remove this silicone gasket material. And it'll actually also shine up the, the plastic a little bit too. So I should end up with a, with a nice clean flat surface that I can get through the acid. So I'm going to clean that off a little uh, with the alcohol or acetone in order to clean, clean all that residue off. We're all ready to put that water pump in, so we've got a new gasket. And I bought some new stainless steel hardware to, to bolt it up with. So the first thing I'm going to do is put some annexes on, on the threads of these bolts because we want them to definitely come out later. So we'll do that. The water pump, all nicely painted. That back surface is nice and clean. All right, so I have the gasket over the water pump. The longest bolt goes to the horn and we'll put that in there and get it started.
So there is another place over here that a bolt goes in. So I'm going to put one in temporarily. This is where the standoff is going to go for the alternator. But I want to be able to torque this up equally until I'm ready to put, put that standoff and that alternator in. So this is just about maintaining some, some even torque all the way around that water pump. All right. All right, so that's done. I'm gonna let those rest a while until I get that alternator installed. Then I'll come back and lightly torque them up again. All right, that ends this episode. When we come back next time, the plan is to install the alternator. Now, I've got some work I need to do. I need to build some standoffs and I need to get another pulley for that alternator that actually fits the, the pulleys on, on the water pump. Now. I've been to the parts store. This was an AC Delco alternator, and nobody at the parts store seems to know if you can get another pulley for that. So I'm going to pull that one off, shop around and see if there's one available that is the right size. And if not, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna hire a machine shop and get that, that made a little bit wider for the, for the uh, 5 8 belt. All right, so when we come back, that's what we're gonna do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Ring the bell and you'll get a notice. And we'll see you next time.